Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make ground beef and cheese enchiladas. This recipe can be found in my first cookbook, Catherine's Plates, Making Home Cooking Simple, Easy, and Delicious. This goes back about four years when I made this cookbook. Okay, this recipe just has three easy steps to it. The first step we're going to start with is making that delicious sauce that we're going to use in and over these enchiladas. Y'all ready? Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here is the cookbook. It's on page 32, beef enchiladas. It's like right next to the Easy Shepherd's Pie. You can use the recipe from the cookbook here, follow along, or you can go to my recipe blog and print out the full recipe there. We're gonna go ahead and get started in a medium skillet over medium heat. There we go. We're going to add two tablespoons of butter. We'll start melting that down. I love enchiladas, beef enchiladas, chicken enchiladas creamy white sauce enchiladas with chicken. Oh, I've made a lot of them for you guys. I'll link them down below in the description box if you want to check other variations. Now, once you get your butter melted and it's sizzling a little bit, we're going to add two tablespoons of flour. Now, I've just got an all-purpose flour here. I'm gonna sprinkle that in. We're gonna whisk this together for one minute. I'm going to go ahead and put my timer on. She don't want to overbrown it. It should start looking like a paste. I've got two cans of red enchilada sauce. These are 10 ounces each. We're going to go ahead and open these up and we're going to pour it in. Yeah, I love the red sauce enchiladas also. I do love them with the ground beef. There we go. These are mild flavored. So if you want the medium or if you want it hot, just add extra spice to it. We're gonna add two cups of chicken broth. I'm gonna season with a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm saying about an eighth of a teaspoon of the salt and the same with the pepper. Okay, we're gonna place our burner onto a high heat and we're gonna bring this to a boil, just stirring occasionally. While that's coming to a boil, we're gonna go ahead now and chop up an onion. I'm just using a yellow onion. We're gonna make small dices. So I've taken off the two ends. I'm gonna peel off that outer layer. We're gonna cut the onion in half. Just make slices. Turn it around. Run your knife through. We're gonna make some dices. That's all the chopping we're gonna need to do. Okay, it's come to a boil. We're gonna go ahead now and remove it from the heat. We're gonna start our second step. I've got a skillet on medium high heat. We're gonna add about one tablespoon of some cooking oil. And then we're going to add our diced onion. Then we're going to start sauteing it down. Ooh, hear that sizzle? That's one of the best sounds in a kitchen. All right, we're going to saute these down for about four to five minutes. 
until they're nice and soft. Okay, we're gonna go ahead now and start adding in one and a half pounds of ground beef. Make sure you season all of your layers. Got some salt. So go right across the top with it. And some black pepper. We're gonna brown up the ground beef and then we're gonna drain it and then I'm gonna show you our next step. Okay, the ground beef is all browned up. We're gonna add one cup of that enchilada sauce that we just made into our meat mixture and then we're gonna add four ounces of diced green chilies. Now the diced green chilies are optional. Adds a little heat to the dish. Not much, just enough. You wanna go ahead and make sure that your burner is turned off. We don't need to cook anything else. Let's mix this all together. It smells delicious. All right, we're gonna start heating up our tortillas. It makes them pliable if you do that. I am using yellow corn tortillas. Now I'm gonna heat mine up in the microwave and all I'm gonna do is lay out some paper towels, place about five of them at a time on them. Because these will break on you, so you gotta be very careful. That's why you wanna heat them up in the microwave. Or you could use a frying pan, just put three of them in there and then heat them up, turn them over, heat them up, and then you can use them that way. But it's just faster if you do it like this. So it'll go in the microwave for about 45 seconds. All right, what we're gonna do is place some of our sauce into the bottom of our baking dish and then wiggle it around until it coats the bottom and about halfway up the sides. About a cup. And shake it around. This will help prevent the tortillas from sticking. There we go. All right, got my corn tortillas here. I'm just going to use a small plate. We're going to take the tortilla that's nice and hot. We're going to dip it into the sauce. Just hold it. There we go so that both sides are covered. Place it on your plate. We're gonna put two tablespoons of the ground beef mixture in the center. Some cheddar cheese, I'm gonna sprinkle right across the top. Take it from the back end where the sauce isn't. Roll it up very carefully. And then we're gonna place it seam side down into our baking dish. Just like that. And then just keep doing that till you fill them all up. All right, we're gonna take some of the sauce and pour it over the enchiladas. We're gonna to top it with some more sharp cheddar cheese. All right, we're gonna place this in the oven at 350 degrees for 20 minutes until the cheese is nice and melted and bubbly on the top. I'll be back, we're gonna finish these off. Okay, here they are, don't they look scrumptious? Smells like a Mexican restaurant in here. I'm gonna take some green onions, 
and just garnish it. And then we're going to plate it up. All right, what do y'all think of my ground beef and cheese enchiladas? This recipe came out of my first cookbook. Let's go take a bite. Oh. Now I let these rest for a few minutes to kind of pull itself together. Mmm. Mm hmm. That is delicious. Make it at home instead of going to a Mexican restaurant. Pair this up with your refried beans or make some rice with this. Y'all, it is delicious. All right, give me a thumbs up on this one. Make sure you comment down below if you're new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. I'll see y'all on the next episode.